I've been using this 49 inch ultra wide monitor from Dell for two years now for programming and I'm also using two monitor setup at home office and even three screen setup at the studio that I'm renting. So I wanted to compare these three setups for programming. I will show you how I use the ultra wide for coding, I'll cover some problems it might have and a little trick to justify its purchase if you think this monitor is for you. So Dell 49 inch monitor is a beast when it comes to real estate. It's the same size as two QHD 27 inch monitors, uh, but without that annoying bezel in between them. And that really makes all the difference. By the way, I have nothing to do with Dell, I just always liked their ultra sharp monitor series. When I started working in this company two years ago, I was a bit afraid to order it. Uh, to be honest, I was just thinking in case I don't really like it later. I, I just hate that feeling of being a company clown. Again, I was also concerned about the viewing angles and its curvature as I've never used a screen of this size. And I heard from a friend that this is an issue for some people, how they have to move around to see the corners of a screen. I personally never noticed that I do that. I sit from about one meter from the screen and I do not need to move around to see the corners of a screen. If you think this might be the problem, uh, just use a tape measure and position your existing screen accordingly and see if you can read all the corners of your existing screen first. It has an aspect ratio of 32 by 9 and a resolution of 5120 by 1440. And I honestly cannot see individual pixels when I'm looking at the screen. So scaling is not an issue for me and I don't have to zoom in or anything. Everything is working just as expected. It also has an IPS panel, meaning that the viewing angles are very good and the glare is also rarely noticeable. Both things are quite uh, important for me since I use a lot of editors and consoles in the dark mode as I figured that using dark mode is much easier on the eyes when looking at the monitor of this size. The monitor stand is okay, it doesn't obstruct use of the desk, so I never actually needed a monitor arm. You can keep your phone or post-its on the stand or whatever you want. It has a display port, HDMI and USB-C video inputs and a bunch of other USB up and down ports, but I never really use them, so you will have to read specs online to figure out everything that it can do. I know that only one USB-C can be used as a video feed and others are there just for expansion. And that is great because I do use this monitor as an USB hub and I even have another hub connected to it. I do need to test uh, phones on the PC so I'm plugging them in and out all the time and the monitor has my keyboard, my network, my mouse and my external hub and even charges my PC, all that over one single USB cable. So when I take my PC from the office to a meeting room or to take it home, I just unplug one single cable and I'm good to go. I know it's a first world problem for sure, but it removes all that friction from docking and undocking. Because before when I had three or four cables, I would sometimes think that, you know what, I won't even take the PC from the office because of that hustle of connecting it all back. So coding on this beauty. I started by splitting the screen in three equal parts to have most size of my editor and the browser. And to be honest, I didn't enjoy it that much. I started thinking I was the company idiot after all again. But when I tried more advanced layouts, even though it meant reducing the size and the width of the IDE, now I use it in most 5 or 6 screen configuration. And that makes much more sense for me. The splitting itself is done by the Display Fusion software and I will come back to that later. But I have one or multiple consoles here for running the servers and build scripts and whatnot. I can monitor for errors that might show up during the build process. Below that I have the Tidal Music uh, player open because music keeps me in sync with the universe. Next I have the code editor about the same width as the maximum line length allowed for our code. And sometimes, uh, honestly, I would have to scroll left or right in the files here or in the long code. And if that gets annoying, I would just uh, double the editor size with this button here that was added by Display Fusion on all windows. Or I could even change the layout from five to six screens and that will give me more room for the editor itself. I could just hit maximize uh, by holding the shift plus full screen and then use it like I threw away thousands of dollars of company money just to have a huge empty space on my screen. Next, I have the browser or another editor for code referencing when I'm copying something, googling, etc. And then I would have the application itself either running in another browser or in emulator. And then I would usually have one or even two consoles on the right to monitor what is going on with the application itself. And again with these small buttons that appear on every application, I can easily change the layout of the monitor to whatever I need and I could even use the keyboard shortcuts, but I am a bit too lazy to remember them as I do not switch the layout that often to be honest. And some people use window snapping and I tried it a few times but it was never good enough. It made little sense to me to split this screen in only two or maybe three screens. 
With Display Fusion I can configure different layouts however I wish and I can even set the rules and it will automatically move my screen to predefined virtual screens. But the most useful feature for me is that uh, when I move my application around the windows will snap to allowed places in all full screen mode. So moving them around is easy and intuitive. I can also turn on and off taskbar per virtual screen, per monitor and to be honest it does have some issues with Windows 11 and I was back and forth with developers and they have improved it quite a lot but I think somehow it was still better on Windows 10. Other than these programs and virtual screens I actually maximize Chrome browser when we are sitting in a meeting and it's absolutely awesome when we work in my boards as I can really see much more of the screen then. Once you start really using it, oh boy it's convenient. I keep finding new ways of organizing applications uh, based on the task at hand and, and I really like that I can see them all. Having all programs visible at the same time has saved me quite some time. Sometimes an error while developing would occur in some console somewhere behind all programs where I work and I could use 10 or 20 minutes to find out what's going on because I forgot to check some of the consoles that's actually hiding somewhere in the background. So I actually think I do make less mistakes and less errors with this screen because I have the overview of all the process at all the time. So how does it compare to two or three monitor setup? For years I was the alt tab person and one screen was just enough for me I could just switch between applications very very fast and I never missed on anything. But that is before I knew any better. I then started to use two screens at work and I would use uh, one for email or code reference. And then at home I switched the other screen to be vertical and that was a bit better for some tasks. And right now I use three screens at the office studio that I'm renting. And compared to both two and three screen setup the ergonomics of ultra wide are actually better, at least for me. I think it's because the screen is centered and right in front of me and I am evenly using the entire screen on both sides of the head. Because it's centered it feels much more natural to use and after a few days you forget how big it is. It just feels like a regular screen. I only get reminded of its size when somebody new comes in and sees it for the first time and then gets jealous about it. And that really boosts my self-esteem as I feel like I'm somebody important or even a better person than everybody else. With two screens I would look at one screen 90% of the time and then I would just turn my head a lot in one direction to see the second screen. So my neck would turn only to one side and never to the other. With three screens uh, this is a bit less of an issue but in both cases I would have maximum two to three windows available at the same time and never five, six or seven as I have now. And the vertical configuration for a second screen is a bit better for me because I can split the vertical screen in several and when Covid made us work from home the most annoying thing for me work related was probably not having this screen available. And now that I've been using ultrawide for years uh, using two or three screens somehow feels like a downgrade. Because when I sit in front of this beauty I feel like I'm really doing something important. So it's actually quite inspiring to use it every day. And if you really like it here's how you can justify it. You can say that some guy on the internet, that guy is me, said that you will probably gain or save 20 minutes a day in productivity. That's about 80 hours a year. Times your salary as a developer and this monitor pays for itself the very first year probably. The other four years you will use it are pure earnings in time saving. You will also make less errors because you have a better overview of the entire process in front of you at a glance. And not to mention that you will uh, really like sitting in front of it. But not all is perfect though. I mentioned that I use this screen with uh, one cable to a laptop and it works. But it's a Dell almost most expensive screen and it's a Dell laptop and the screen cannot power it. To be fair this laptop requires a lot of power, everything worked for me, it's just that the PC complains sometimes that the charger is not original. Because the monitor provides 90 watts to the PC while the original charger for this PC is 130 watts. So your mileage might vary, most regular PCs are charged just fine with 90 watts. Speaking of wrong PC, this PC gets its fans spinning quite a lot when working with this screen. It is enough that I play some video on YouTube and it will become quite noisy. So I think it's struggling a bit with all this resolution. But again, this is a huge monitor, so not a monitor problem, but definitely a thing to consider if you have a bit weaker PC, how are you going to power all of these pixels? Also without a monitor arm, which are ridiculously expensive for a screen of this size, placing speakers on a desk, uh, well, gets a bit creative. It works at the end, but uh, it's not the best. And because it's huge, did I mention that it's huge before? It is a bit tricky to share your screen in meetings. 
I would usually share my laptop screen uh, that otherwise I use for chats or emails because if you share the entire screen nobody else can see what's going on because huge. Also the price is not small, it was about 1200 US dollars when we ordered it uh, two years ago and that is pretty much the price of three good quality monitors. So if you already have some expensive monitors I'm not sure how much is it worth upgrading financially wise. Again I'm definitely buying one for my home office in near future as uh, at home I would also use it for gaming, video and photo editing, uh, studying and some of my many many hobbies so I can definitely see benefits for having it and uh, seeing a lot of things on the screen at the same time. And also consider where are you going to place it, as it takes a huge part of the desk. I have this motorized desk that is very stable, so when it's raised I do not get any wobbling, but if your desk is a bit wobbly you will definitely notice it on this monitor. Having all that said, I would do it all over again. I do not regret ordering it and using it, as this screen is just beautiful for programming. And once you start splitting the screens and really using all of its pixels, you really get all the benefits of it. And you can watch how the rest of my workday in Norwegian startup looks like by clicking on this video on the screen or in the description. You made a mistake. But the roles have changed and I am your boss now, Mr. Alex. Remember when you complained how I easily drift away in meetings?